Hey, Faye. Good evening. Hi, Bill. Hi, Faye. Are you going to be able to take notes on Tuesday? I'm hoping. I got my, um, not to show you the bad picture. <laughs> You're proud of that, aren't you? <laughs> they, took, they took the uh, final stitches out today. Okay. Looking pretty good. And I'm hoping I'll be able to, is there a big uh, agenda or? No, not really. I got some important meetings. Okay. Platte Village. Oh yeah, Platte Village. Well, I'll try. Um, okay. I think maybe I'll ask Carolyn if she could be my backup just in case. There you go. She'll probably be there anyway. Make a note to myself to talk to her. She'll probably be on tonight. Yeah. Uh oh, Bill's frozen. Yeah. I wonder if he can hear us. Bill, if you can hear us, you're frozen. Hmm. What happens when that happens, Tony? Uh, it, it could be your internet connection. Uh, sometimes it's the resources in the computer that you're using. Oh, yeah, he's... Um, hmm. So what do you do to get out of a freeze? Uh, it depends. You might have to reboot your computer. He, he may not even know. Yeah. On it, his it, end, it, we... we on his end, if he still sees the screen, we're frozen. Oh, maybe he's clocking in again. Yeah. Anthony, you have Brian begun as an attendee? Uh, do I? Hello, everyone. Hey, Brian. Thanks, Tony. How are you? Good. How are you? You know, about <laughs> five, about five nine. Oh, that's that's about four more than me. So you know, <laughs> farther ahead. Yeah. All right, any updates on your son? How's he doing? He's doing good. good. Uh, he's 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 on the mend. So excellent. Good to hear. Yeah. I don't know if any of these people are neighbors. No neighbors yet? I don't know. I can't really tell. Mm. Hi, Ada. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, Dr. Barta. What's happened to your finger? <laughs> well, today I had <laughs> the stitches removed. Ooh. And uh, now I'm supposed to put on like um, Vaseline and stuff for a while. And... Uh. Uh, and I'm, she said, oh, it looked wonderful. And I'm like, ooh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Does it, it still feels, hurt? It hurts a little bit, especially if I press on it, Ugh. like when I write. But, oh, yeah, you're right. But uh, I, I think with, with each day, it's really weird. It gets just a little better. So I'm very happy about that. Glenn, take good care of her. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi, Bonnie. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I get my COVID shot tomorrow. I got mine yesterday, the first one. Which kind did you get? Um, Moderna. Okay. Did I'm Armenian. I get the Armenian one. Are you kidding me? The I'm Armenian getting one. Pfizer tomorrow. It's an Armenian company, so ye. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Everybody is here. Brian is here. Steve is here. Hi, Morning Star is here. Brad is here. Tony is here. Say, I answered your question for you. I sent you an email. I answered your email. Okay, I will check it. Thank you. Okay. Steve, thank you for your help yesterday. Appreciate that. What did I do with the, yesterday? With the education. 
you co-hosted and posted everything. Uh, Thank you. That's a, that's like a lifetime ago. Are you kidding me? It was just yesterday. Don't make. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Bonnie, what? Why can't we see your pretty face? What happened? Hi. Hi. What? Yeah, Let's we can. Hi, Merle. How are you? I was up there. No, we can't see your face. Zoom webinar? Yeah, we can't see you. We can't see. Well, uh, now what happened? Click open. Still not seeing you and Sandy and, and Anthony and Brad and Brian. Well, this happened once before. Yeah, I remember. Oh, Merle, and, we can see now. And I, okay, I'm going to check out and then check back. Bob just again. came on. We can see Bob. Okay. I just didn't want everyone to know I was doing needlework while I'm listening. Oh, my God. Oh, now I don't know what I did. Wow, that's I didn't see me. <laughs> yeah. Are those you guys? That's yeah. nice. Hey, Bonnie. Olivia is what? here. Hi. Go, go to the... I don't uh, know where I went. Bonnie, go to the uh, bottom uh, left of your screen and, and and click on start video. Bob, Bob, did you get my key? Not yet. Okay, no hurry. You said there was, you said there was no rush. I don't no, know no, I don't have to do it until next wrong. month. Thank you. But, uh, okay, I'll, no, I'll, I'll get, Sandy, I'll get it uh, within the next few days. That's, that's fine. We don't need it for another month. Okay. Let her in once Thank you. Oh, Maria and Olivia are here. Where is Brian? Mm -hmm. I'm oh, here. Hey. Let me know. I'll it's right here. Oh. Nope. I don't know what I did wrong. Where's Steve? Steve to the rescue. I don't know what I'm doing. Plugged in back here. Yes, I know. <sighs> Body, go uh, to the bottom of your. Screen. I lost. I lost my internet. Okay. How do I start over and get my emails? Please. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see, Bonnie. I worked you at. What are you doing? Hmm? Good evening, everybody. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yes, we can. Yes. All right. All right. Hi, Terry. Hi, Ida June. How are you? I am fine, Tariq June. How are you? Very good. Thank you so Morning, much. Morning, Star June. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you all. Huh? Nice to see you. Oh, nice we're... to see you as well. Bye, Yes. Olivia, Tom asked us a question. I didn't even see. Bonnie, Bonnie Clay, uh, can you see yeah, us? Steve, I don't know what I'm we'll doing. We'll do it together. Can you see us on your screen? I can see, just see you. Now I don't know where my email is to yes. try to start over. Just go down to there. You don't have to start over. Okay. Okay. Uh, go down to the bottom of the screen, lower left corner. Yeah. And you'll see a camera that says start video. You see that? No. I have that on my phone. Hey, no. The lower left no. corner of the screen, you don't see start video? No, I don't know what I'm doing. Start video. Click that. I don't, and I can't find it. Oh. Push it at the bottom. Just put your finger and push it and everything will show up. Yeah, I knew a girl like that. On your screen. What? Oh, no. On your screen, just put your finger and go oh. tag. Yeah. yeah, wait to see who reports Merle for that one. What did he say? Do we Nothing. have it on? Nothing. Did he record it? Let's, Nothing. Let's he not, said you're let's, beautiful. Let's I was talking to somebody here in my room. The, uh, the guy, by the way, uh, somebody started the recording before the meeting, so everything is being recorded. Oh, we are not supposed to do that. No, we're not. I don't know what I'm the, doing. The host must have done it. Start. Yeah, it it's it starts when the when I start the meeting uh, or or the Zoom. And but our no, meeting hasn't started yet. It starts at seven. 
there's no there's no rule against it. Oh, it, it it's actually it's recommended it's whenever nice we're meeting. It's just not, uh, it's just not nice. It's just yeah. not nice to do it with people not knowing that they're being recorded. You really shouldn't start it until the meeting starts. Oh, but there's a message that pops up. I just clicked it. It is clear that it does tell you that it's recording. Yes, it does. Oh, that's so cute. It's kind of ridiculous. Not everybody knows to look at like, that. Never seen Hi, that. Bill. Thank you for well, answering me. I appreciate that. And you'll like yeah. I learned something. Um, and so they're with you if you wanted to be all the way through. And they bring you the venue. Um, and you get the venue. And then we have the time when it starts from there. So you guys do the first look or not. Or if you see each other down the aisle choose that option. Oh, that's um, cute. And so I make that timeline. That where, where is our uh, president, yeah. vice president? Mm -hmm. Here. Yeah. Here I am. Hi, Shar. Oh, Shar. Hey. Hey, Shar. Hello. Shar, you know, Shar can I make you co-host and I'll make uh, Dan host? Sure. Or yeah. Absolutely. What's that on your wall, Danny? Yeah, what's that? Uh, my diploma. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's either my vision or because it's so small, but it's like. It's not small. The poor guy got a diploma. It's huge. That's not what. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you look at the I see. No, it's I not see small. McDonald's. I have two of them. Of the month. I have two of them. <laughs> <laughs> what's with the tiny uh, diplomas? Hi, Tom. The bad angles. <laughs> I wish I hadn't said anything. <laughs> Earlier, I heard a dog barking. I don't know who it was, but whoever has a dog that's likely to bark, please mute yourself so the rest of us can hear what's going on. Why? It's fun. I was oh, that, was only uh, uh, that was me. Can you hear me? Yes. Can, yeah, but we can't see you. Oh, oh, oh John. Yeah. John, how are you? How's your husband doing? Oh, he's, he's doing okay. Not... Not brilliant, but okay. Thank God. We'll take okay home? anytime. Oh, yeah, he's home. Oh, oh yeah. And bothering me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take okay anytime. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And Merle's doing yeah. fine. There's, Hi, Dan. How Dan. are you? Hey, there you are. Yeah, I was, I was like that sidetrack. <laughs> and I realized, There's 95 participants. 95? Wow. 76. We got 56 attendees. 56 uh, attendees. Hey, Dan, wow. uh, Dan, do you want to co-host or host? 57. I'll be co-host. 58. Okay. Nice. This is so exciting. I'd like to thank, before we start, I'd like to thank everyone who sent their good wishes to me before and during when I was in hospital having my cancer, re cancer and kidney removed. Um, God bless you all, and I know the I know the good Lord heard your prayers, so thank you so very much. Well, You're welcome. You're welcome. We're all very concerned, and we're glad to see you here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Yes. Yeah. Um, I third a... that motion. Uh, also, <laughs> also, before we begin, um, you are being I... uh, recorded. Then. Yes. Yes. Um, we have, let me, let me bring up the item, the agenda here. Okay, here. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. I don't know that they're all. Okay, um, before we begin, I want, uh, in case anybody's here is waiting to uh, participate in the discussion on item 21-0011, um, discussion and possible action on submitting a community impact statement to oppose city council file 20-1376, yes. which would allow the city to ban unhoused persons from certain locations. That item is being referred back to committee, so we won't be taking that up uh, at this meeting. So uh, we're, uh, we're always uh, happy to hear your comments, uh, whatever is the subject in the general comments period, or if it's, um, or if it's uh, addressing a particular item uh, that is, is, remains on the agenda, then you may speak during that, um, that item 
discussion. Uh, so um, everybody, um, welcome to the uh, West Hills Neighborhood Council's February meeting. Uh, this meeting is now called to order. And uh, uh, I'm Dan Brin. I uh, have the honor of serving as your president. And uh, Charlene Rostein is our vice president and co-chair. And uh, we have um, uh, we have uh, our officers, uh, Safe Mogri is our controller, our treasurer is Carolyn Greenwood, and um, uh, who am I missing here? Brad. Brad, of course. Brad is our, <laughs> is our secretary. Uh, so um, uh, thank you for coming tonight, and uh, we'll begin with the uh, roll call. Um, Mr. Secretary, uh, Brad Vanderhoof. 74, sorry. <coughs> Ada Kariams. Here. Faye Barta. Present. Brian Begun. Here. Sandy Bell. Here. Thomas Booth. Here. Dan Brin. I'm here. Bob Brostoff. Here. Esperanza Butler. Tariq L. Atrache. Here. Carolyn Greenwood. Here. Marie Jopdani. Here. Bonnie Klee. Here. Safe Mogri. Here. Olivia Natureman. Here. Daniel Ostreicher. Howdy. Steve Randall. Here. Bill Rose. Here. Charlene Rostein. Here. Anthony Scares. Here. Merle Schreibman. Here. Joan Trent. Alec Uzemek. I'm Brad Vandruff. I'm here. Joanne Yovanek Guard. Here. I have Esperanza Butler, Joan Trent, and Alec Uzemek as absent. Joan Trent is coming through the door any minute. Okay. Let me know when she arrives, please. All right. So th thank you. Um, we have a quorum then. Very good. Uh, so uh, Charlene Rostein will lead the Pledge of Allegiance. Does anybody have a flag available? Flag handy. There we go. Steve, Steve. Uh, oh, we got a number of them. Okay. Oh. Uh, everybody show your flag. Okay. You know. okay. All right. Uh, hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Individual with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Thank you. Thank you, Char. Uh, okay, thank you, folks, for, for showing the flag. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, let's move on to the meeting minutes of our January 7th meeting. So um, let's, let's uh, briefly scroll them by. Uh, and are you are you sharing screen? I, I don't see the minutes. So or shall I squirt? Uh, could you please? Yes. Uh, Merle, did you mean to have your hand up? Yes, but you can call on me later. Okay. Okay, the board members have had the opportunity to look at these minutes, um, gosh, uh, at least two weeks. And so uh, we'll uh, quickly scroll through them. <clears throat> Mr. Skears has outstanding scrolling technique. <laughs> yes, he does.
That that be it. All right. So, are there any uh, comments, uh, uh, corrections for the minutes? Okay, um, I don't see any hands up. Am I missing anything? <coughs> oh, apparently, there are no comments on the minutes, so um, the minutes are hereby approved as submitted. Okay. Let's go back to the agenda here. Okay, treasurer's report, Mr. Brad Vanderhoof. I mean, I mean, sorry, uh, treasurer is Carolyn Greenwood. I'm sorry, Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm having Brad a lot. And I look so much alike. <laughs> <laughs> Easy mistake. <laughs> sorry. Not problem. Uh, well, the mer is in the packet. And the only thing that we had expenses for uh, were the usual uh, rack space, web corner. And actually there is an outstanding um, payment to Apple One. Uh, we just uh, received a word that it was um, uh, paid today, I think. Did, did, did yes. you get that email? Yes. yes. Yeah. But today so, is February. <laughs> you mean they negotiated the check? Yeah. We got we got a notice today. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so are there any um, uh, uh, comments or questions about the monthly expenditure report? I don't see any hands. Okay. Uh, okay, then um, we'll, but we still have to take a vote. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Tariq, um, are, have you um, taken your um, financial and uh, ethics? He's out up to date on everything. Okay, great. Yep. great. Okay, so we'll, let's, uh, let's have a roll call vote. Brad? Approval of WHNC's December monthly expense report. Adip Karian. Um, I don't think I can vote for this. I have to take my funding again. I got notice that everyone was eligible to vote. Yeah. Then I approve. Then I approve. <laughs> I guess they're all confused like me. Then I'm approved. Hey, Barta? Yes. Brian Begun? Yes. Sandy Bell? Yes. Thomas Booth? Yes. Dan Brin? Yes. Bob Brostoff? Yes. I have Esperanza Butler is absent. Tariq El Atashi? Yes. Carolyn Greenwood? Yes. Marie Jabdani? Yes. Bonnie Klee? Yes. Safe Mogri? Safe? Yes. Am I muted? I know. We heard you. Yeah. Olivia Naturman? Yes. Daniel Ostreicher? Yes. Steve Randall? Yes. Bill Rose? Yes. Charlene Rostein? Yes. Anthony Scares? Yes. Merle Schreibman? Merle, are you there? Yes. Has Joan Trent arrived? No, not yet. Thank you. Alec Uzemic is absent. I'm Brad Bender. If I vote yes, Joanna Manic Garb? Yes. The murder is approved. Thank you. Okay, uh, controller's report, uh, Mr. Mogri. Thank you. Uh, Tony, could you scroll down? Sure. There you go. 
So there were three invoices paid in the month of January. Uh, Apple One, Web Corner, and RecSpace are the normal invoices. Uh, one Apple One that just got paid this month. It's from the month of November. And the total at the bottom, 11781 and 36 cents. It matches what's on the city clerk's website, which is good. Oh, terrific. Well, thank you, Steve. Thank you. All right. Uh, Daniel, Daniel has a question. Uh, okay, Daniel. Um, is it possible to pay any of these things instead of monthly, like once per year and potentially save money? Uh, who wants to answer that? Uh, any of our uh, budget team? The, the, the answer is uh, no. There are certain companies, uh, there's a... They automatically bill. There is no, uh, we've never been give, given an option. There are two companies. It's uh, um, a web corner and- um, Rackspace. Rackspace uh, primarily. And uh, it's no big deal. They, it automatically gets paid and uh, they uh, charge it to our credit card or our account, in this case, maybe, you know, to our credit card. And uh, there's no extra labor on our part for it. Okay, okay, well, but it might be a good issue to bring up at the next uh, budget committee meeting. Okay. Well, Dan, I know for sure Rackspace that it will not alter from their uh, monthly charge because I discovered that when I asked them about uh, last year paying, uh, billing us early, and they say it's automatic and they do not make any changes. Thank you. That sounds like great customer service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so um, uh, budget uh, committee report, our budget co-chairs are, um, are uh, Carolyn and Bob Broskoff. Yes. Uh, There we are. Uh, as Carolyn indicated, there was only the $112 and uh, that was it for the month. And uh, if you uh, print this out, you'll also see the percentage of uh, funds that have been spent. There are a lot of uh, allocations that haven't been touched due to inability to spend due to the virus. Sorry about that. <laughs> So at any rate, it was $112, dollars 212 dollars 200 dollars 40 Yeah, $212.40. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much um, uh, to our uh, budget co-chairs. Um, comments from the chair. Um, the, we have a, another uh, event filled a month. Um, the uh, COVID-19 um, the vaccines are becoming increasingly available. Uh, I was able to get my first um, my Moderna vaccine uh, today. And um, it's, um, and I, I know quite a few other people who have been doing so. Um, uh, it's my personal belief that, uh, that, that this is a good thing for everybody to do if they possibly can and as soon as they can. Uh, we're all uh, sick and tired of this virus and uh, this is the uh, best way to, uh, to, to kill it, uh, to get rid of it. Where did you get the virus or where did you get the vaccine? In San Fernando. Mm -hmm. at, the, um, at a big community center park there and it was a simple 40 minute wait and it was very fast, very easy, pain free. For me, so um, okay. Uh, the uh, um, St uh, Dan, were yes. you finished? Uh, Steve and, oh, no. and Joan have their hand I, raised. I, I, no, I, I'm not. I'm not finished yet. Um, okay. I just want to say Joan is here. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Um, oh, uh, could somebody bring up the um, the matter of the uh, codes of civility, civility that's from our bylaws? As, um, Tony, can you bring them those up? Yeah, I can uh, give it a give it a shot. Okay, there we are. Um, so let's uh, let's review it for a moment, because it's always um, always important. Um, you know, it, it does apply to all of us here. It's that uh, neighborhood council board members should treat other board members and members of the public with a respect, with respect, regardless of the other's opinion, ethnicity, race, religion, religious belief, or non-belief, color, creed, national origin, ancestry, sex, sexual orientation, gender, gender expression, age, disability, marital status, income, homeowner status, renter status, or political affiliation. Uh, we, sh we should not um, engage or threaten to engage any physical attacks on any other individual, should not use language that is threatening, obscene, or slanderous, including profanities, insults, or other disparaging rem remarks or gestures directed toward other board members. Never, neighborhood council board members should promote and, if necessary, enforce a safe meeting and meeting environment. If other board members become disruptive or violate the code of conduct, neighborhood council board members have agreed to abide by. Board members should demand that the offending board member conduct themselves in a respectful and orderly manner. And uh, there are additional um, uh, uh, prohibitions against bullying, which are defined here. And can you scroll down a little bit more? This is uh, all that I would say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, Tony, if you could go back to the top. Sorry, Tony. I think we missed number one. Well, the very beginning. Right. Yeah, this is the compliance. Right. Okay. So, uh, and uh, this is an, 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 uh, on top of the, um, the, what's contained in the pledge. And uh, speaking of the pledge, we'll be uh, in, a, in a few minutes, uh, we'll be uh, listening to the induction of board member, our newest board member, Tarek mm -hmm. Ellen Trashy. Um, but first um, I want to uh, mention uh, with sadness, the loss of our good friend um, and board member, uh, Marge Brown. Um, Marge was a good friend who, um, even at the season age of 96, was full of wit and kindness of heart. She never flagged in her advocacy of justice and truth. She, she always siding with the underdogs. Um, uh, Marge will never forget you. Sedek, Sedek, took off. Justice, justice, thou shalt pursue. Uh, so let's have a, we'll have a brief moment of silence in, in memory of, of Marjorie Brown. Thank you, everybody. And now we'll have a, a more cheerful moment with the induction of uh, board member Tarek El uh, We're all, we're, uh, I'm personally very excited to have Tarek on our board. He's uh, tremendously um, competent and uh, intelligent, and and and, he's, and and he shares the enthusiasm of of uh, of, of that that all of our new board members have shown us and um, and uh, we welcome them aboard. And so, um, uh, Tarek, uh, do you have your copy of the um, pledge? I do, absolutely. 
Okay, hey, would you care to recite it, please? You bet, absolutely. Um, I, Tarek Aletrush, pledge to represent my neighborhood council and stakeholders with dignity, integrity, and pride. I will encourage other points of view, even when they differ from my own. I will respect, value, and consider everyone's opinion. I will adhere to all local, state, and federal laws, as well as hold other board members accountable to do the same. I will find the good in my neighborhood, praise it, and promote it. I will work to honor diversity, build community, forge bonds with neighboring communities, and promote participation in city governance and the decision-making processes to improve the quality of life for all stakeholders. To the neighborhood council system, to my neighbors, and to neighborhoods throughout the city of Los Angeles, I pledge to do this to the best of my ability. Thank you, Tarek, and welcome to the board of the West Hills Neighborhood Council. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate that. Congratulations. Very kind of you. Thank you. Um, so uh, now, uh, uh, go going back to um, the vacancy that, uh, left by March Brown, uh, our, according to our bylaws, uh, uh, this is uh, close, uh, too close to the election in, on May 4th for us to um, appoint uh, a re replacement to fill out the remainder of March's term. So, um, so we, of course, we encourage everybody in the community to be a poster hat in the ring and, um, and, uh, and uh, possibly join us on this board. Okay. Um, um, so, Steve and Joan raised their hand. Uh, okay. Um, uh, Steve? Yeah, um, Dan, I'm sorry. I was not able to hear you. Uh, somebody is getting feedback or interference. I think it's Bill. Bill, something's going on on your end um, that's interfering. There we go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Dan, would you mind repeating what you said? I, I couldn't make it out at all. On my I, 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 I said a lot of things. <laughs> Very last I thing. think he's talking about the vacancy. Okay, about, about the vacancy. Uh, uh, according to our bylaws, the um, uh, the vacancy uh, left by Marge Brown has um, happened uh, is, is too close to the election on May 4th. Uh, so uh, we will not be um, uh, uh, making a, a vacancy appointment to fill out the remainder of our term. Um, so I was uh, encouraging uh, members of the public to, to throw their hats in the ring mm -hmm. um, uh, as, uh, and possibly join us on this board. Thank you. Okay, um, so uh, Charlene Rothstein, this is your um, time to shine. Um, we have a, um, a lot of people here. We do. Um, so we're going to take pub general public comments before uh, the announcements? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. All right, um, let's see who we've got here. Now remember that this is for items that are not on the agenda. Right. Okay. Um, Char. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I wanted just to let you know that there are a lot of, of the Highlander stakeholders here. Some of them I see have their hand up. So Highlander stakeholders, please wait until the item comes up on the agenda to speak to it. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's good. Thank you, Faye. Um, we have one board member's hand up too. So let me take the board member first, then we'll go to public comments. Merle? Yes, are, <clears throat> are we uh, limiting the amount of time for each stakeholder to speak and- um, Yes, keeping yes. To, keeping to that? In yes, two, uh, two minutes. Um, so, okay. Um, if, if you're going to speak on an agenda item, though, wait for that agenda item to come up. And also, um, please just make sure that you're uh, referring to things that are within the jurisdiction of our board. Oh, thank you, whoever put that up. Tony, thank you. Um, and let's see here. Let's start with Android user. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, hello, this is Emily Rose. The reason I am calling in today, uh, I started the CPRA request because of disturbing 
reports that I heard from other Shadow Ranch Park parents, but I wanted to reach out and find out more information. And what I have found so far in my CPRA request has been disturbing. Mr. Brin has been slow to my responses and they have been editorialized, but the incident that I reached out to find out about was perhaps not the thing that I found most disturbing. I have to wonder when a board member is sending another board member a video that encourages the hunting of fellow human beings for sport based on their political party and that your board has not been responsive to that, how I have to feel about my fellow neighbors on this board. How what? can you condone and stand by when Steve Randall sent that video to Mr. Tony Sears, who appears to be the only African-American member of your board and nothing has been done. So while my initial interest was because of the reports of these parents and Ms. Jill Stewart and the Maynard Avenue parents, this has been the far more disturbing thing that I have uncovered. And I just, if you do not hold him accountable for this, then you are complicit in it. That's ridiculous. I would like to remind you that public comment is not an invitation or an opportunity for interruption. If you are unable to restrain yourself, that is your issue, but I will demand my time back. You owe me at least 10 seconds for interrupting me. Public comment is protected. So I want to know what the West Hills Neighborhood Council will do on this issue. Because it's interesting to me that you're discussing the code okay, of conduct thank and you. the pledge. You thank took you very ten much. seconds from me, but in my interruption, no, that that wasn't ten seconds. We did give you a little bit more than two minutes too. Thank you, did you for not. your comment. Okay, um, Jamie Penn. Uh, I'm having issues with the alarm here. Oh, okay. I can stand by for just one moment. And this is a free. Uh, online clock i certainly understand we all have the same budget constraints this is, this is being uh not cooperative so we can do it on the phone yeah tony could you just do it with your phone and let me know when time is up sure Okay, thank you. So phone to the camera. Uh, sorry about this, everyone. That's okay. Learning. Ninety-two attendees. Wow. Not all of them, of course. Uh, you can just go to just to give Google. Tony I'll, I'll, I'll just. Uh, Tony, you can just go to Google and do I'm, a stopwatch. I'm, I'm, I'm starting now. <laughs> okay, right. perfect. Okay. okay. Thank you. So my name is Jamie Penn. Uh, I'm actually a board member on the Wilshire Center Koreatown Neighborhood Council. Uh, it's just come to my attention, um, the behavior of one of your members. Um, it, in fact, it's, it's citywide at this point. Um, one of your board members, Steve Randall, um, it, it's come out into the media uh, from a CPRA request. He's been threatening uh, members of the public and their children. Um, this isn't behavior becoming of a board member. Um, as a neighborhood council representative, I find this appalling that someone in our position would use their position in a way to intimidate a member of the public. This isn't at all something any of you should condone. And that member, Steve Randall, should resign immediately. Um, this censure is, in my opinion, not enough. Uh, and this member should re be removed immediately. Um, it's easily found. You can Google his name. Uh, it's very easily found. This has just come out in the media. Uh, it's reported by Michael Callhouse, who is a local reporter. Feel free to look it up, any of you. And I please urge you to remove this member from your board mm -hmm. immediately. Thank you. I yield the rest of the remainder of my time. Have a wonderful evening. Okay. Thank you for your comments. Marcia Stafford. Yes. Hi. Good evening. Um, this is my first time ever coming to uh, this neighborhood council meeting. Um, I live on Kennelwood Way with my husband. We raised our two children here. Um, but my daughter, 
she called me this afternoon and said, mom, you got to find out about this. Um, there's a neighborhood council member in the community named Steve Randall, who is terrorizing children. What? And I, please don't interrupt me. I was shocked and did some investigating and I've seen copies of letters and information from other people's public records uh, requests. And this is frightening to me because, you know, I don't have small children anymore, but my daughter has school age girls who come to this neighborhood because it is family friendly, because it is safe and secure. They sell their Girl Scout cookies here because where they live isn't necessarily safe. And I don't feel comfortable having a neighborhood council member who is representing our community doing that to the children of the community. And I find it highly ironic that before public comment began, you showed a code of civility that talked about how board members and stakeholders, but board members especially, should behave themselves. It was absolutely appalling to read how you shouldn't bully, how you shouldn't terrorize. This is really sad. I mean, I the previous caller suggested that the person resigned, that Mr. Randall should resign. I read about your bylaws. I would at least encourage the very least that you could do is look into a censure act. Ten, ten but seconds. thank you very much. Please keep this neighborhood safe. And that includes our homegrown terrorists. Thank okay, you. thank you for your Ridiculous. comments. Um, Maya M. Ridiculous. Maya M. Yeah, hi. Um, I just want to note that I'm using the name Maya tonight. Um, it's not my real name. Um, I've never called in to a neighborhood council meeting before, and I really hope I don't ever do it again. Um, it's, <laughs> I appreciate the work you all do, but it's not my thing. Um, but I was on Twitter today and was super taken aback to, um, to see stuff about my own neighborhood council, and there was just there's a lot of information there. Um, and I, I don't know, it makes me really uncomfortable, really, really uncomfortable that supposedly I'm represented by a person who behaves like that. And I've been on the other end of people just completely unwarranted um, going on the attack and, and saying they're going to sue you for all sorts of stuff um, when there's nothing there. And, and it is really intimidating. And, and I, it's just not okay. It's not okay. Um, thank you. Okay. Thank you for your comments. Susan Bernard. Uh, hi, everybody. This is Roy Bernard, Susan's husband. Oh, okay. Comment about the shopping center, the Pavilion Shopping Center on Platte. There was a representative of that property in the last meeting who is requesting cooperation in his effort to have it rezone the whole piece to see. I'd like the board members to familiarize themselves with what C4 means. C4 permits high rise buildings businesses such as uh, auto repair, things that that center really shouldn't have. If we granted him cooperation for C2, that would cover use greater than any, prop, any, any business that's ever been in that center, It'd give him some freedom, but to, for him to reach for C4, reaching for the moon, something we cannot pull back once it happens. Thank you for the time. You're welcome. If this is on our next Tuesday night, February 9th zoning and planning agenda. So uh, if you're interested, please come to that meeting. Um, Marcia Stafford. Is that you? I already went, but I'd love to take another two minutes. Oh, no, that's OK. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I guess you just didn't. We didn't lower your hand. Sorry. 
Okay, thank you. I think we're done. We're done with public comments. There's there's two two hand three hands. Um, let me see. Yeah, we have Chris Rowe and uh, three others. Oh, Nicole, and Chris Rowe, and Jessica. Oh, wait a second. Hold on, let me find those. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, let me start at the top here. Nicole Flasati. Hi, all. Um, I just had a quick question regarding Dan's first statement. I logged in and it, he said we weren't going to talk about what agenda item, and I missed it. I didn't hear it because it was still logging in. Okay. Um, I, I don't know the agenda item number. It's the, um, what number was that, Dan? Um, it had it ended with 11. So it's, it's oh, not- 20-1376 or 67? Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. I just yes. it was cut off when um, I logged in. Sure, it's agenda number twenty one dash oh oh one one. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Was that it, Nicole? Yeah, that's it for now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right, uh, Jessica J. Hi there. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. So I just want to follow up with the callers who had called in with concerns about Steve Randall's behavior. And I just want to say what is on Twitter is alarming. It is not just someone who is um, unhinged in the neighborhood, um, accosting young, unaccompanied girls. He was also taking video of girls. He was massless and accosting them, making them cry. Um, he was, he had threatened to call John Lee on his personal cell phone to make it seem like he had the authority to get these young girls arrested. There is a layer here that is dangerous, dangerous to the community, but it is also scary. Why is this grown man accosting young girls? What kind of unhinged sicko is this where girls have to call their parents to protect them against people who are supposed to be in good favor in this community? And I will say this, Steve, if this is true, if this is true, you calling uh, John Lee, who is currently under FBI investigation, that compounded with you filming minor girls, you are, you guys are more than friends. You guys are the same, cut from the same cloth and we don't want you in our neighborhood. Thank you. You, something you, you know, we're not allowed to reply and we do thank you for your comments and certainly yes. want to see your, your uh, you know, involvement with the, with the city and with our council. But you made a statement, you said, you. if it's true. You see, that's the problem with this. So you are replying though. So if you're not allowed to no, reply, I'm just then making why are you replying? And so am I, and so am I. And there is a, there's the, communication um, online. There's communication online the, from your council that you has the And so I'm not I am I am simply just commenting on what I've seen. Thank, Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your comment as well. Thank you. This is not uh, an element of free speech. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. We can um, hear you. Oh, I'm glad. There's no video, so I was never sure if I was really on or not. Okay, you're okay. on. Okay, first of all, um, in this country, people are innocent until proven guilty. So if there is something going on, then it needs to be looked into. And Steve, if, there, if this is all misinformation, I apologize for them, okay? If it's not misinformation, you guys will figure things out. But the second thing I wanna say is, um, as far as Highlander Road School goes, uh, it's so important that we have that a preschool or a, a lower, uh, that's an agenda. Um, item. That, that yeah. isn't it. That needs to be addressed during the agenda item. Okay, I'm sorry. I just okay. That's okay. So if you can just hold your things. thoughts. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, hang in there, guys. Your dog working really hard. Okay. Let me find this. So who who was that? Uh, just speaking. Um. I'm not on Walder, Walden, yeah. Mr. Uh, and Mrs. Walden. Her Chris name is Siobhan. 
Her name is Siobhan Walden. Okay, okay great. I'll, I'll uh... Okay. And you also have Chris Rowe. Yeah. I just called on Rishi. Yeah. Rishi. Absolutely. I, I, I just want to, you know, give a give a public comment on uh, Steve Randall, but I also want to make the point, you know, you were saying that you didn't, uh, you weren't uh, violating the Brown Act by commenting after the, the last public commenter, but, you know, you can use language however you want it. Uh, your actions prove clearly that you were responding during public comment. Um, so we definitely noted that. Fortunately, this is being recorded and, you know, we know, we know the Brown Act. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I want to say, uh, you know, these aren't, you know, just rumors or just random accusations. Like, like there's uh, a lot of evidence on on uh, on Where? Twitter right now about Steve Randall being a creep. And I, you know, one caller said innocent into, until proven guilty. I wonder how you all feel about defunding the police in the carceral state in California, because. Uh, that that current system isn't innocent and so we'll turn it down please uh okay um but yeah no we you know a grown man like steve randall uh accosting young girls uh it's really it's really sick <laughs> oh who is laughing sorry laughing? no no dan dan unmute mute yourself dan mute yourself that wasn't dan oh it wasn't dan who was laughing who, Which one, who was laughing? None of you. None of you were laughing. That's funny. Had to be some one of you. Anyways, you're. I mean, it's you all are laughing about this fucking creep of an old man, oh, videoing. Yo, the whoever the okay. fuck is not unmuted, that is not muted right now. Fucking mute yourself. God damn it. Who was laughing? You all, yeah, you guys are shaking your head at me. Okay. You foul language. You're standing up. For, you're standing up for a grown old ass man look, checking out thirteen year old go girls and recording them. And you're shaking your head at me using foul language. How fucking dare any of you? You're standing up for a fucking creep, and you're shaking your head at me using the f word. Shame uh, on you. Five Shame seconds. You. You're not good people. You're standing up for a fucking creep and he's walking around recording teenage girls and John Lee knows about this. John Lee, the corrupt uh, city council member under FBI investigation that yet. Yeah, yeah. You guys hang out with shitty people. You associate with Turn him up. Bad people. What, what, what you're going to do? Who are you going to defend? Fang? Who are you going to defend? The, 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 the Recording teenage okay. five seconds. Um, thank you for your comments. Um, member under FBI investigation. Uh, Tony, I can't for some reason I can't see Chris. Can you unmute? No, Chris? defend defend the creep, the, the old man. Tony, old isn't man his time up? Tony, can you please cut this man off? That's under oh, FBI investigation. Please cut um, this man off. Thank ridiculous. you. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, ridiculous. come on. Cut this man off. Carolyn, defending Carolyn, this old man. Carolyn, can you speak, please? <laughs> Carolyn, you have the floor. <laughs> Shh. I don't know. Carolyn? Me? No, Carolyn Poppert. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Carolyn, you're muted. Can you unmute? <laughs> Carolyn Poppert. I, I didn't see Carolyn's uh, hand up. Oh, I did. You know, this Rose, Chris I, Rose's I, hand is still up. No, I, I, I can't find it. It's Tony, Chris, can you see Chris's hand? Yes, she's the first one. This is the first one. See, not on my screen, it says Marsha Stafford. She's, she's uh, Chris. Right is. before Marsha Stafford is Chris Rowe. I want to take a minute and ask my fellow board members to please mute and remain muted. Why? We don't, we are not supposed to mute ourselves. Yeah, no, we're, we don't have to. Um, I, can, Tony, can you unmute Chris? I cannot find she, her on she, here. She is unmuted. We also don't have to listen to that profanity. Okay. Chris, Chris, you have yes, the floor. I I've been here. I was unmuted probably 10 minutes ago. Oh, oh, maybe that's why I can't find you. Okay, go ahead, Chris. 
So um, I called in to speak on the agenda item that has been moved back to the homeless committee. I was on the call with the Woodland Hills Warner Center Neighborhood Council. You know, I run between three neighborhood councils, Woodland Hills Warner Center, West Hills and Canoga Park. And this issue that is before you, that's going back to the Committee on Homeless is related to the motion that I believe was by seven uh, council members, but Bob Blumenfield spoke to it at the Woodland Hills Warner Center Neighborhood Council in November. And it has to do with Judge Carter's uh, law, the lawsuit brought before Judge Carter, the homeless that camp under the bridges and along the freeway. And I'm sure you're aware that for Council District 12, uh, the city is recommending to purchase the travel lodge for the homeless for that reason. And so I just want to state that I have been listening to this issue from numerous locations and we really need to find places to place our homeless. Uh, my heart goes out to everybody. We are all, the, all of you I'm looking at at the screen, we are, you know, but for the grace of God, there go I is the statement I always say. So we are the lucky ones, but for those who are not, uh, it, it, it's not healthy for them to be under the freeway. I support finding shelter for them, uh, buying the hotels. Yes, let's use our city and our state funds to buy shelters. But yes, we need to keep them away from the freeway because the air quality near the freeway is terrible. And it's also they're blocking these sidewalks so kids can't get to school like at Taft High School and stuff. They have to walk in the middle of the street or people that are going to the stores. So I, I have tremendous empathy for the homeless, but I, I don't have the time to go to every council's homeless committee and I, I do want to thank the homeless communities the committee because I, I can see a, a ten, ten seconds. I just I, I I just for example I just was on Noga Park about the parking there the you know the sheltered okay. parking for the park. Fine. So so okay. thank you thank you listening. Chris thank you. Um, thank you Chris. Well, you have Rian. Right, Rian. Sweet. Tony, do you have my time running? Yes. All right, sweet. Thanks. Uh, just really quickly want to bring up um, something that I've talked to Char and Bill about regarding the development coming up on um, the edge of El Scorpion Park up in the unincorporated part of West Hills. So some of you may know that project is coming back. Um, it's really important that we keep an eye on it and we participate, especially because it's in LA County and not in directly in, in the incorporated portion of West Hills. So I just wanted to bring that up that we should probably keep an eye on that project and Sharm Bill are on top of it. And another thing is, and I know the folks from NC Watch LA and People's City Council that are on the call are gonna come after me on this, but basically just don't respond. And it's really important that you do mute your mics because everything is being recorded. They post it on Twitter and Michael gets on Michael Kuhlhaus's page, but never, nevertheless, consider it a badge of honor because you know these people do it to every single NC in the city. So don't worry about it, but just make sure you keep your mics off. Otherwise, thanks guys for everything that you do. Thank you. Eric? Hi there, can you hear me? Yes. Great, hello everyone. Um, I'm just here to say that, um, you know, real quick that uh, Steve Randall, I just wanna read real quick from his bio on the, uh, the West Hills page. And I want you guys to ask yourselves, are you gonna defend uh, a board member that uh, a parent has written a verifiable letter, you know, that for one of her kids and a few other children, you know, were harassed by him and um, threatened by him without a mask, or are you gonna defend um, a member who already has uh, a bunch of stuff going on with him that is uh, very questionable? Um, I just wanna read from his bio. It says, I love West Hills. It has been my honor to represent the best interests of the West Hills community. It is my goal to continue to serve the community of West Hills to make it as vibrant, attractive, safe, and enjoyable as possible for those who live, work, shop, attend school, and pray here. So these kids were putting, um, you know, uh, paper. They were doing a toy drive for foster children. Um, and these, these three kids, these minors, um, were, were innocently putting these um, 
uh, pieces of paper or whatever in the uh, uh, mailboxes. And Steve uh, started yelling at them, started taking their pictures. These were children. And uh, I think what I want you guys to take away from this is that uh, Steve was abusing his power. Uh, Steve tried to call, show the, the um, guardian that he knew John Lee. Uh, he didn't have a mask on. These are all extremely wrong things. These are, these are, these are extremely, uh, uh, these are abuses of power. These are children in the community. And you all have to ask yourself, do you want this man uh, on your board? Do you want him representing the neighborhood council? In seconds. Uh, so, so just ask yourself that, and I think uh, Steve Randall should resign. Um, thank you. Um, uh, who, is, who is that speaking? Who is that speaking? Oh, thank you. I don't know if you can see me or not. Um, uh, no. I can't. We can hear you. Okay, I, I can't see my video, so I, I don't know if I signed on incorrectly or not. Uh, no, one, one thing I, I, I want to get to the agenda with respects to the, the Highlander school issue, and I know this isn't the time to talk about it right now, uh, but I felt compelled to respond to uh, this barrage of attacks on Steve Randall, uh, because I, I don't think it's fair. I don't think this is appropriate or the right place for it. I, I love my neighbors. I, I, I love everybody. I think we need to love one another. Um, and I respect that somebody has. I don't think it's your place to respond to this. Um, this is this is this isn't this isn't the space to respond to it. This, this is, is not again. Excuse me. This is public comment. Comment. comment, so we need to. And I'm I'm couple to commenting. This is not okay. the space to respond to it. Continue, Kent. Thank you very much. Uh, in Steve's defense, I, I know this man is being uh, working so hard for our community. I don't know what these complaints are. I look at it as a barrage. Of attack, maybe a group of people got together to just attack him tonight. I, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. You come on to our community website, say you're a member of our community and attack this man in front of people that are trying to address very serious interests. Write a letter to the board or something, but please, I, I have my granddaughter walking around the house and I hear this man dropping F bomb. And we'll it, hide her it, from it, Steve. Thanks. I'm sorry. I, I was just saying that I, I, all I know is that, that Steve, I, I've worked with him on a few things. Uh, I'm a Christian in our neighborhood. <laughs> I work with people in our neighborhood to, to help better the neighborhood. We got to love our neighbors and to come out and start attacking some, it's just wrong. This is not the place or the time to do this. I came on here because I'm very seriously concerned about things going on uh, with the development down at the bottom of, uh, of Highlander. Can't we talk about those issues? I, I would love as a, a, I'm gonna run for city council or whatever it is these things are, are going on here Maybe. to help this neighborhood. I wanna help this neighborhood. But how, how, are, how are people that wanna give their time and their efforts? And I know Steve, has, he puts in 40, 50 hours a week helping everybody here. And you're going to attack them like this. I don't know if they're true or they're not, but give the guy the chance to respond. You're, you're assuming and attacking this, this, this guy who's helping you with, the, with these complaints you have about him. Please just keep it civil. Keep this a, a nice seconds. firm so we, we can all communicate with one another and lift this community up. Let's lift it up. Let's not tear it down with, with, comments like that, please, I beg of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Pilar can we, can we, can we demote people after they speak, please? Yes. <laughs> if you've already spoken, can you please lower your hand? <clears throat> Pilar? Yeah, hi. Okay, there you go. My name is Pilar Schiavo. I'm from West Valley People's Alliance and West Valley Homes. Yes, we do outreach throughout um, the West Valley and um, with the homeless community, including in the West Hills. So I'm a stakeholder and um, have been to multiple of your meetings in the past. And honestly, um, what I saw recounted about Steve was not a surprise to me. Um, but I, you know, I find it ironic and incredibly troubling 
the tone policing that's happening right now if these allegations are true. Because what he did was threaten to call the cops on girls who are volunteering in their community, which is shocking. And as neighborhood council members, you all are tasked with engaging and involving stakeholders in the neighborhood council. And that is the antithesis of that kind of behavior. And so the question is, how are you going to really look into this and take it seriously because it should be? And that there needs to be transparency and accountability because you have a guy saying he's a Christian and talking about how he doesn't know if it's true or not, and yet still defending Steve. And he doesn't even know if it's true. So why are you defending someone who you don't know if he was doing this egregious act? Um, it, it really is shocking that someone could treat young girls in the neighborhood like this and get away with it without any kind of accountability. And that's, I think, what the point of people's comments today is that there needs to be some kind of accountability. And we know this isn't the only incident with Steve, that there's a pattern. And so at some point, he needs to be held accountable. And this really needs to be taken seriously because how can someone represent a community with this kind of behavior? Give Thank you. Give me a break. Give me a break. Uh, Tina Bright. Thanks. Hi, I just. Oh, Tina. Hi. Yes. Can you hear me? Sure. Hi. Um, I just have a quick question for the homeless situation. When are we going to speak on that? I was once that agenda item comes up. Okay. Oh, wait. Are you talking about the one that was taken off the agenda tonight? No. The one about building um, by the hospital? Oh, okay. When the agenda item comes up. Okay. Where are we in the agenda? Because we're not, we haven't started yet. Sorry. Is this like okay. about a minute? I have comments. Okay. Uh, Brenda Smith. Hi, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? Good, how are you? Brenda? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. So I had a chance and I went and I looked at the Twitter and it does look to me that the process was followed. It, it seems a letter was sent to the board in that original complaint. So it seems to me that uh, there was a lack of accountability by the board here in failing to deal with that initial complaint at the time. So it's just that people are saying this isn't the place, this isn't the time, but it looks to me it was several months ago that this was submitted properly to your board and that's how it should have been dealt with. Now, I don't know how many of y'all knew about the complaint or how y'all deal with those issues, but it just seems to me that when a charge like this is brought up, then as a board, you owe it to yourselves to do the due diligence, investigate it. Has anybody reached out to Ms. Stewart and spoken with her about this? Has anybody asked her to come in and detail what happened? Because it seems to me like that would be an important part of the diligence that you owe our community. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ridiculous. Um, hey, hey, please, I, I, I need to step in here that that uh, we're not permitted to respond uh, to um, public comment. Yeah, please, please stop responding. Seriously, please, please stop responding. Okay, Peter Clune. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to say, you know, uh, there was someone in here that said something about the member of community uh, in that you would, uh, you know, stand up for a member of community. John Lee is under investigation for the FBI. Um, and you know, he's a member, you still accept him as a member of the community. So how do we know that you're truly going to stand up for what is right when a criminal like John Lee is still accepted by you? You know, Steve is a creep. Um, and I went back to look at Twitter 
and the process was followed and the letter was sent to the board and it seemed yeah, like yeah, it was no, sent months ago and you're actually not supposed to respond and if you could if you could please if you could please mute if everyone could please mute um has anyone followed up with miss stewart um you know steve you know threatened to call threatened to call um you know the cops on on young women and uh teenage girls and steve steve is just just a creep and i don't know why you all are de defending him um you know he, you don't you're not standing up for what is right and i hope steve will resign or you all will vote to get him out because this is my time I'm not sure what's happening if you guys could figure this okay, out okay bethany no no i'm no, sorry no, that please. wasn't that wasn't bethany. me please. Please. Else. what what okay oh. it, it's no 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 you Fuck. gave up the floor Fuck. so i no, called on no. bethany Fuck. 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 Fuck Steve Randall. Steve Randall's a creep. Excuse and, me. Uh, you please mute everyone. No, no, no. Bethany, you, guys you have, have the understand. floor. You no. Have to understand Bethany that has the floor. Thank you so much. I, um, you know, just wanted to join the call and wanted to voice uh, my concern about another board member, Olivia. And in the most recent um, you know, a situation where they were trying to fill a spot. She did not recuse herself when her own daughter was applying and she did not recuse herself from voting. She did not make it well aware. And it became very apparent she had, um, you know, tried to wrangle people on behalf of her daughter. That's really not how democracy works. And I believe that Olivia should recuse herself from her position. I no longer believe that I can trust her as a good representative, given her duplicitous nature in not recusing herself. Okay, thank you. Uh, People City Council. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just supposed to speak before Bethany and someone else was speaking over me. Um, can I jump in, please? Who is this? Peter Klein. This is Peter Klein. Um. Can you hold on a second? Um, Peter did not speak. Uh, People City Council Los Angeles spoke. In, in but that's oh, he did? OK. Um, Tony, can you do me a favor if you see any hands that are up that already spoke? I know iPhone spoke. Um, can you take that and those two down? Thank you. OK, Peter. Yeah, hi, thank you very much uh, for having me and, and letting me speak tonight. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm calling about something similar to a, a lot of other people. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I actually don't live in your community. I live in downtown, but I work with my neighborhood council. Um, and I know sort of how important it is for, you know, these neighborhood councils to respect and represent their communities. Um, and, you know, similarly, I saw, you know, what many people saw which is you know, two letters written to this board um, outlining what is really troubling behavior. Um, you know, and I think taken in and of itself, um, it might not be something um, for this board to look at. You, know, you might be able to sort of wipe it away as you know, someone doing something that is really distasteful in the community, but just outside the jurisdiction of what you should handle. Um, but I'd urge you to really reconsider that uh, because what is outlined in there is that he very specifically identified himself as a member of this council. He used that position specifically in that, in that moment to threaten um, and weaponize his membership on this board uh, against children. Um, and I think that is the moment at which it really crosses the line um, from something that might just be distasteful um, and really disappointing for some for someone to do um, into something that should concern this board. Um, for any one of you to take that sort of action, even outside of a meeting, to represent yourself as a member of this board um, and having power because of it and weaponizing that against the youngest, most vulnerable members of the community, you know, that's where it becomes something that it really becomes important that you do something about it. Um, because that's the problem. That's where he crossed the line to something that you are now all responsible for. Because he said, this is my position. This is how I'm going to abuse it. I'm going to abuse it. And it's just, it's really troubling. 
Um, so. And it's also you know, it's troubling to hear people sort of try and wipe it away. Um, and you might, like I said, you might be able to do that otherwise, but I think that in that moment, he, he crossed the line um, and it requires action on your behalf. Thank you. Um, Tony, did Susan Bernard already speak? Uh, I'm not sure. We're being, being bombarded. Uh, no, I, I thought she did. We can I don't. I don't have her name down. You don't. No, I wrote it down. No. I saw that she spoke, Charlene. Oh, she did. Okay, thank you. Okay, then we are done with public comment. Thank Lisa, you. Lisa Smith has her hand up. Is is was she? Uh, did she speak? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I called on her. Yes. And uh, now Olivia has her hand up. Okay. Olivia, be careful though, I, I already messed up. Okay, Olivia. No, thank you so much. I just wanted to uh, reiterate, I know it was stated before about that you're not allowed to mute. Um, and, and you are, you absolutely are allowed. And it'd be, just be great if people could, just because one, um, feedback issues and noise in the background. And then also if there are, is any commentary, whether it's laughter or you're talking to someone in the background, people can still hear you. And so when that goes out, then it makes it seem like it's speaking for the board. And so if you can just mute yourself in between, that really would be super helpful. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think what, what I was trying to say was, we're not allowed to just mute the board or anybody else else for that fact. That's what I meant by that. Okay. Um, let's see, I think we have. Mer Merle Mer has his hand up. Okay. And, and we have two, I, I, we have, we still have Lisa Smith and people's. Uh, yeah, no, we, he, we did he, call sorry. on them already. We already okay. uh, called on them. Okay, well, Merle. I just want to say that, uh, you know, listening to some of this, and unfortunately I had explosive to, and to make apologies to folks, However, several months ago, uh, words were thrown in my direction and uh, legal counsel was brought in and legal counsel researched what these comments are all about in relationship to the Brown Act and free speech. And as we speak and sit here right now, there is a legal suit in place because of this, these some of these comments that are that we have heard here against a member of this board. That's all I'm saying uh, at this point in time. It's not a free speech situation in certain cases. Thank you very much, and I I accede to somebody else. Okay, Dan. Okay, so it's a, so a public comment period is over. Um, Char, I have no comment from Lisa Smith. You have what? I have nothing recorded from Lisa Smith. I have a Brenda Smith. I could have sworn I called on Lisa. Okay. Um, allow, allow Lisa to speak. Yes. Okay. Can you yes. hear me? Okay. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You, you did not call on me. Um, thank you so much. Okay. Sorry that. about that. I thought That's okay. I did. There's, there's a lot of Smiths on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just, I really quickly want to also say, so I'm a school teacher um, and I unfortunately am teaching kids on Zoom. Of course it's terrible, but I do have to say that some of my students on Zoom act better than some people on this council. And I'm so ashamed to say that. I know that you're not supposed to comment, um, but Merle, you were you were making comments, members of this council were unmuted. We could hear you making comments back to the speakers. Merle, I actually have a video of you literally making the throat cut motion a few moments ago. And now I'm very scared that there's two members on this council who are doing this. Merle, you've also been on your phone um, and you're supposed to be listening to public comments. So I would like this council to go back and watch the video of Merle literally yelling at the camera and also putting his finger to his throat as one of the speakers was calling. I'm very afraid of that. Um, I'm a mother in the community. I'm a teacher. As I said, my husband and I moved here because we thought this community was safe uh, for our children. And I, I you know, I want to say there have been letters sent to the council about what has been happening with Steve Randall and they have been ignored. So I'm very afraid now for my children. Uh, I mean, and the, the speaker who said that, you know, I know this person, I trust him. I, if you've been someone who's been abused by a member of 
your family. That, that's what people say to you. They tell you they know your, your parent. They know your, friend, your family friend. They know your family member. There's no way that they can be an abuser. There's no way that they can do that. And for me, that was extremely triggering to hear. And if you are ignoring people trying to speak to you through letters and through those means, this is, this is where we're supposed to speak and you're supposed to listen to us. So I just, I ask that you do that. Merle, please stop making threatening motions to people. I, I'm, I'm so concerned that I don't feel safe by my representatives. And, and I really hope that you look into that because I, I trust all of you to take care of us as a, as a community and, and, and my children. And, and I'm concerned some people aren't even paying attention during public comment or have their cameras off or they're unmuted and they're speaking. So please just, please, I, I'm, I'm trust, I'm putting my trust in you to please, please okay. help us. Okay, uh, we're way, way past the, the right. time uh, 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 period um, allotted for public uh, comment. So, uh, so uh, we have business to uh, take care of. Uh, so um, I'd like to move on uh, to uh, to that. Um, okay, so uh, we're, now we're having. Um, I don't think I don't see the names of our senior lead officers uh, here. Um, Eric Moody, are you here? So is, is Eric here? Uh, yes. Yeah, here. Yes, I saw his name. You're unmuted, Eric. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Greetings, Eric Moody, District Director for Councilmember John Lee. Uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, give some announcements tonight. Um, we continue to work in the community, uh, even given the extension of the, the shutdown orders. Um, we continue to remind everybody to wear your mask, Wash your hands. Do what they ask us to do. Let's let's uh, kill that curve, and uh, move on with our lives. Um, CD12 Angel Fund and the Small Business Angel Funds are still operative. So if you know anybody who is still in need, or uh, just needs to keep going or reopen, um, hit up our website and we can uh, help get in touch with some funding to keep you moving through. Um, Los Angeles County has uh, started the vaccination processes. We've been getting a lot of calls from mostly seniors asking us how they can get an appointment. They're 65 and older. Um, they just can't get through the website. They can't get through the phone line um, asking us to help them jump the line. Um, we walk them through the process online. Um, and if they go to publichealth.lacounty.gov and click on the right tabs, they can certainly find uh, an appointment for the uh, vaccine, hopefully nearby, um, but there are several locations and uh, we are hearing people are having more luck um, out of the valley in, in getting um, responses. But Mr. Brin mentioned that he got his today, so maybe things are looking up. Um, uh, but vaccinations are in short supply, so we're, trying to keep people positive and, and give them the phone number, which is 833-540-0473. Um, council is back in session. Um, there are new committee assignments. Council member Lee is now chair of Arts Parks, Health, Education and Neighborhoods. Um, he is vice chair of Public Works and he is a member of Plum and he's a member of Housing, Trade, Travel and Tourism. Um, most recently, Councilmember Lee introduced a motion regarding uh, Stony Point Ranch and asking the Department of Recreation and Parks, who is basically the owner of that property, um, to go out to bid or request for proposal for a new operator uh, of that facility. And we will ensure that that facility maintains its status as a boarding and training facility. Um, so in case there's any concern out there, um, we're on top of that and making sure that goes forward. Um, a little update on the West Valley Animal Shelter. Um, you may have heard that the general manager recently um, released a supposedly revised proposal for operating the animal shelter. Um, our staff is currently going through that report um, and meeting with the department in the mayor's office. Um, it's substantially similar to what was originally proposed by the department, um, which the council member does not support and was, was frankly disappointed that she didn't come up with a different idea. 
Um, it's not what the community at large supports. And he continues to fight for the reopening of that shelter by uh, city personnel, the way it was supposed to be. Um, I can encourage all of you and uh, the community to be heard at both um, the commission level, the Animal Services Commission, and the um, committee uh, level to voice your comments and concerns about this report and about the animal shelter being open the way we, we need it to. Um, if you go online to lacity.gov, um, you can click on the, the list of departments and commissions and uh, council committees to find out when that item is coming up. Or you can go to the city clerk's um, website and subscribe to the council file for that item. Uh, don't have it real quick handy, but um, that'll get you the latest information. Um, if there's anything else, uh, let me know. Um, Mr. Brand, I do have two certificates here uh, for your um, attendees on your agenda tonight. Um, I can present them. <laughs> that'll, that'll be very soon. Virtually to you. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, sir. All right. Dan, um, do you want the, do you want the uh, agenda up? Uh, yes, please. Dan, can I get his telephone number? Whose telephone number? It's Eric Moody's telephone number. Uh, Eric? I've logged on the Zoom. You can't pull me up to panelists, I guess. City 12 is the phone number. Uh, well, um, he, uh, Bonnie wants your, your telephone number um, or for your. I'm your... not logged on on my telephone, no. Um, okay. I'm logged on I'm... on my computer. CD 12's phone number. Yeah, CD 12's phone number, yes. Oh, okay. The, the office, 818 882 1212. Thank you. May I ask something from Eric really quick? Okay. What was that education? Uh, what What is uh, uh, Mr. Lee's position? Education na neighborhood? What was that on education? He is the chair of Arts, Parks, Health, Education, and Neighborhoods Committee. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Um, Dan, Semi Park is here and would like to speak. Okay, uh, Semi. Uh, good evening, board members. Just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, one is that the uh, reminder or a recommendation to abide by the time allotted for each agenda item as the board is able to set reasonable regulations to public comment. Um, so um, this will help the board move board business forward and adjourn at the time stated on the agenda. And then also uh, just a reminder that the board is not able to take any actions on matters um, outside of the board's jurisdiction. Um, so any actions um, of board members outside of a neighbor council meetings would be considered outside of the board's jurisdiction. Um, other than that, uh, just a reminder to appoint uh, a representative to the department's regional grievance panel. Um, so maybe at the next meeting, uh, take board action for that. Um, other than that, uh, great to be here and uh, reach out if there's any questions. Thank you. Thank well, you, Semi. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank is, you. is Nathan Singh still here for elections? Uh, he was here, but let me see here. I see, I see him. him. He's got his hands up. Clayton. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, I see it. This thing is so weird. Okay, here we go. Yeah, They're yeah. alphabetical and then it... No, I don't see... It's not on mine. Hold on a second. And he's, he's talking permitted. He's, he can speak now. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. uh, can, okay. can you guys hear me? There you go. Yes. Hi, I can hear everyone, everyone and thank you for allowing me to speak. So I just have some quick updates regarding the uh, neighborhood council election. So as you know, candidate filing for your NC has already begun and will end on February 16th. So please encourage any, anyone you know who is interested to apply still. Um, and with that, uh, I'll just, to, for time sake, I'll just uh, kind of go over the, the vote by mail process. So when you're, um, when you're at, the vote by mail process will, you're, sorry, the vote by mail period will be accessed through an online portal on our website and it will open up six days prior to your election day. So for West Hills, it'll be on March, 5, March 5th. 
to apply, voters will select the neighborhood council they want to participate in. And from there, they will select the ballot they would want to vote for. They will fill out their information to prove their stakeholdership and if needed, upload documentation. But for and for West Hills, there's only one ballot type and it's self-affirmation. So it should be uh, pretty easy for voters to uh fill out. And if, again, the voters don't, don't know or have any questions, you can always call our office and we can assist them through the phone. So then once the vote by mail applications have been reviewed and approved, uh, ballots will be will be, be mailed out starting 29 days before election day. And then the last day to request a ballot will be seven days prior to the election, which is uh, April 27th. But again, we also encourage everyone who's interested in participating to apply early. Um, so the envelopes to return the ballots will have prepaid, po prepaid postage and ballots must be postmarked by election day and received no later than three business days thereafter to be included in the tally. And on election day, we will be having drop boxes available for voters. Uh, an update on that is we're currently finalizing a deal with the county to use their uh, boxes that drop boxes that are that were used during the general election. So it gives a more of more a more of a time opportunity for voters to uh, drop off their ballots if they don't want to use the post office. And there will be a, it's a five day window now from Friday to the Tuesday. And then after uh, the ballot, the drop the voting after the election day is over, uh, the tally will be live streamed on our YouTube on our YouTube and the link will be provided on our website. And if I know it's kind of a little fast, but if you guys have any questions for me, please don't hesitate to reach out and I can help out from there. No, thank, you, thank you, Nathan. Okay, so uh, so I take it that uh, uh, Siri Camarena is not here uh, this time um, at this meeting. No, she is not. Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, uh, oh, she, oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, so Tessa Chernovsky is not here, but, but, but I understand Blake Clayton is. So how are you do, doing, Blake? Um, is, um, if we see Blake, there he is. Uh, we'll allow you to talk. Good evening, guys. It's been it's been quite some time. Um, mm -hmm. I want to say over a year, honestly, since wow. I've last uh, been here to speak with you. But nevertheless, my name is Blake Clayton. I'm the field deputy for Supervisor Sheila Kiel's office. I worked under Tessa. Um, I just want to share a couple of things with you tonight. I'm sure Tessa has gone over a lot of this with you, so I'll be very brief. Um, as you know, there was a recent health order that came out on the 29th. Um, big things that it impacts, 50% um, for museums um, in terms of capacity, um, they're limited to 50% along with fitness centers, their outdoor capacity is also limited to 50%. Um, gatherings, it should be no more than 15 individuals. Um, and if it is, this is also including outdoors. Um, and when it comes to outdoor dining, it needs to be divided up. Um, they shared that you cannot eat with somebody that is not from your family. So this would have to be a family gathering if you're going outdoors to eat so we can you know, prevent spread. And then um, last big thing on that I want to go over is grocery stores, grocery stores um, and other locations that are selling food should only be operating at 35% for individuals that are going inside. Um, the next piece I kind of want to talk to you a bit on is vaccination. Um, as you know, we do not have a very big 